Greetings fellow Mac Warriors, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to German Mac Engineering. Today, as you can see from this fuzzy little guy right here, we are playing the Sun Spider Manual Hero Mac in a quad PPC loadout long range sniping par excellence combined with ECM to keep you safe. It is going to be a fun build. Let's have a look at how it actually gets together. So for this build to actually work, you need to have the Sun Spider Manual Hero Mac. You need those arm omnipods. Otherwise you can only bring one laser weapon per arm. Only the Manual allows you to bring two. Now, that being said, though, there are other options that you could take. For example, you could take the Sun Spider Bravo left torso and whatnot, but you would still be left with only three ERPPCs. If you want to run four ERPPCs, you gotta run the manual. You take the left torso of the Sun Spider Delta that allows you to put in Clan ECM, and then you slap on five more double heat sinks, and there you have it. 81 kph, 40 uh, alpha strike quote unquote damage, and of course, you guys know that um, we can only shoot two of these ERPPCs at the same time in order to avoid overheating. If we shoot them all at the same time, we are cooking ourselves big time, so don't do that. All right, guys, for the skill tree, it's going to get a little bit wonky. We take the firepower tree uh, left-hand side through the middle and right-hand side through the middle. That gives us two nodes of velocity and a lot of the heat gen nodes or most of the heat gen nodes in the whole skill tree. Uh, we can't take the last velocity node over here and the last two heat gen nodes left and right side because uh, we just don't have enough skill points. Then we go into survival. We take the left-hand side of the survival tree to have as much armor as possible. Jumping into operations, full operations tree for maximum cool run, of course, and maximum heat efficiency. And then um, also, of course, what is really, really important to us is heat containment to have a higher heat threshold so we can shoot those PPCs a little bit more or um, ensure that we don't overheat for too long. Then we go into sensors, and of course, as always, we have ECM, so enhanced ECM 1 and 2, and I also chose to use enhanced zoom here, or advanced zoom here. If you don't want that, then you can take those two skill points, put one of them into radar derp, and one that you can just put, for example, in the auxiliary tree um, towards your video duration, for example, or you just go to the firepower tree, put it towards velocity, I'll leave it up to you. I chose to go with double cool shot and cool shot cooldown, of course, because this mech is going to be very hot, so you need all the cooling that you can get. Okay, that's enough about the build, let's go ahead and take this thing to a dropship and I will see you there. Alright guys, welcome to Rubelite Oasis here with our brand new Sun Spider Manual and let's try and go ahead and find some targets that we can engage at range. Hmm. I'm looking at the Echo 4 Ridge here and there we go, there are a few potential customers that we can go ahead and shoot a little bit. Ha! Even got off a good salvo onto the enemy light mech, that is very nice. And then I am getting to know intimately Acquired. the intricacies of this map. And by intricacies of this map, I mean like stuff that I can get stuck on. So, gotta be very careful, gotta keep that in mind in order not to get stuck and uh, get murdered because we can't back up. Okay, so the enemy team seems to be up front. We've got an enemy, what was that? It was a Vindicator jumping up and shooting at me. For some reason, my shot did not connect. So let's go ahead and uh, reposition here. Find a better spot and try and re-engage, support my teammate here who is fighting against, I believe, a Marauder over behind that Rubylite, whatever kind of cover. And uh, we also have somebody up front here, is that a Lacerator, trying to duck away at us. Uh, unfortunately, we were tripping over each other here a little bit, so we got to be careful here not to shoot my teammates. That's exactly what I meant. Had I shot with my left hand side, I would have actually hit my teammate walking up next to me. That's something to keep in mind guys, always be mindful of where you are and where your mech is so that you don't shoot your teammates inadvertently. Ouch! I was a little bit hot, but uh, I think it was worth just to get an additional shot into that enemy marauder. We did eat an artillery strike though for our troubles and uh, should be okay though. Let's go ahead and re-engage this guy and maybe even take down his UAV. I just saw go up here. Hello, UAV. Come on. There we go. If you have PPCs, guys, in your arms, always make sure to take down those pesky enemy UAVs. And there he is again. He's raka ducking away at my teammate again. And, of course, we are going to go in and we are going to go towards supporting our teammate here. Well, it seems like the party is down below in the Echo 5 area. There's also a target right next to me here. It's a Hellfire. Very weird brawly build, but all over the place. Let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. Let him know that he is not welcome here. And hopefully, he's just gonna go ahead and walk away now. Ah, he's red CT now. He might be getting killed by my teammate here. I'm just gonna go ahead and resume my Overwatch position over here. 
two kills to three, so the enemy team is in the lead right now. Let's try and uh, do something against that, for example, by shooting at as many targets as possible, ensuring that they don't have a minute's respite. Just keep them engaged and keep them worrying so that they cannot focus on my teammates. Huh, once again, weird shot and miss. That is a sad, sad, sad thing to see. Okay, let's walk away to the right hand side. There is still this guy over there. There's a light buddy engaging him. He is fairly damaged though, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to help my light buddy engage with that Marauder 5M because uh, he might have trouble engaging him on his own, but with the extra damage that we add on top of this guy, especially opening up his side torso, we should be able to get a kill here. Um, one arm is already gone. And uh, next up is going to be the side torso with those juicy rack fives in there, and we take that out as soon as possible. Oh, what do we have here? Enemy quick draw coming in. We just go ahead and also draw quickly onto him, do some damage to him, and uh, hopefully dissuade him from going in here any further. Hmm, I want to engage the Marauder down there, but uh, my teammates are taking him out already, so that's good. Seven kills over six. There is uh, the pop tart once again from the enemy quick draw. New target. There's a light mech on the enemy side over in the Fox 6 area, but New that's one of the guys I hit acquired. in the beginning, so he should be fairly, fairly damaged. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and assist my teammate here and shoot the Timberwolf, because he's gonna try to go for my teammate and shoot him in the back. But look at this, because I was actually gonna go ahead and uh, engaging him, he wasn't able to engage my teammate and shoot him in the back. Instead, he actually had to fall back, and now we're gonna use that against him, keep on shooting him and keep on forcing him back, and then my teammates can go ahead and uh, clean up here. New target acquired. We have up here, it's a cougar up front, alright. Uh, didn't hit him unfortunately, that's a guy I hit in the beginning of the match. Uh, there acquired. is our quick draw friend and he's gone, beautiful. Two enemies remaining on the field right now and uh, we will just keep our overwatch position, try to assist our teammates and just keep doing what we've been doing all match long, which target. is stand up there somewhere target. and engage enemy targets. Sometimes it is that simple. Okay, 12 kills over 7 in the final tally of this match. Let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard to see how we did. But I think that was a pretty solid performance given the heat of this map. 1 killing blow, 9 assists, 1 KMDD, 859 damage done with 3 components destroyed. And guys, if you enjoyed this content, check out my Patreon page and decide whether you want to be a part of Team TTB. And of course, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the second match of the day. And we're going to be here on the beautiful, beautiful desert, and we're getting shot. Did you see this, guys? I took a shot to my front, but uh, due to the way that the hitboxes are built, it actually hit my New back side acquired. torso and destroyed the heatsink at the same time. Talk about bad luck. I would Target call that spotted. bad luck. Okay. Target well, spotted. nevertheless, though, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, keep this position and we will go ahead and shoot the enemy as much as possible. I do have a few teammates around here, but uh, this is a choke point and it gets a little bit crowded, so I might wanna have move away from the spot uh, in the very, very near future. As you can see, I just used my cool shot here and shot again too early. That actually caused my mech to cook, cook itself a little bit. I see there's enemies pushing in towards Delta 6 right now, so we definitely have to get the hell out of dodge from this position right now. It is way too dangerous. Um, Taking some fire from my teammate here, unfortunately, but that's okay. Keep on pushing and keep on engaging the enemies, especially that King Crab over there in uh, the boonies. Just Start working on the armor because you never know when that king crab is gonna come back and uh, the less armor it has at that point, the better. Now, I can see my teammates are pushing towards Echo 6 and Fox 6 and uh, maybe, just maybe, we might wanna push towards the uh, Echo 7 position and just trade spots with the enemy. So far, there is no kill on the board for either team, so it is looking still very, very even. And we're getting in a few really good pot shots, which is nice, because that will soften up these guys for the time when my teammates go in, especially that Scorch, look at that. Yeah, he's already red side torso, that is very, very good. And uh, with a little bit more fire, we should be able to bring him down here presently. Now the rest of my team has chosen to push towards uh, the Fox 7 area and then go through Death Valley. So I'm using the artillery strike on the right hand corner of Death Valley to hit any targets that want to go ahead and flee up top here. Uh, I'm not hitting much though, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and go onto the King Crab once more. Another 40 damage into the King Crab plus 20 splash. 
And now we drop the next artillery strike right on this guy's head. And push in with our teammates to try and help them. We are in between the enemy right now, which is not a good spot to be in. So the only way to go right now is downstairs into Death Valley. Let's go in on the enemy cataphract. And uh, keep on walking and keep on shooting. There we go. Take away the cataphract, remove the override. Take a quick shutdown, and now we can go ahead and reposition and re-engage. We also have an enemy assault mech right up top here. And we have so many mechs around here that it should not be a problem to kill this Marauder 2. Oh, it's a Marauder 2 C actually. Um, yeah, especially with armaments like this. Like, he has no burst damage uh, to speak of, so uh, he's dead, never mind. Both side horses just evaporated very, very quickly. Four kills to four right now, it is very even. Uh, let's see what we have here. We've got a how much you see. His legs is, uh, are very damaged and his side horse is also very open. So a few very well-placed shots will take him out. There we go. And now we have uh, actually the lead. Five kills over four. Oh, it's not looking too bad for us. We've got all our assaults moving together. So all in all, you would think that uh, we are in a good position. And then you turn around and you see one, two targets behind you maybe more, and uh, two up front. So we have to deal with these guys fairly quickly here. Uh, what do we see? Okay, we've got three targets at least behind us, which means we have to push around the corner here very quickly. And the enemy team actually has a sniper in the uh, Gulf 6 mountainside. Uh, he hasn't done much this round, but he is going to be very annoying up there at this time in the game. Seven kills to seven, we are dropping a few, and uh, there is the King Crab again. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about him. Just trying to engage him right now, but I got shot in the back by the guy in the mountains and uh, that takes away my side torso, that takes away my weapons and that takes away my life unfortunately. So uh, this match actually it looked like we had it won but very quickly the tides turned just because the enemy team had one guy in the boonies that just managed to get away uh, with a very few but well placed shots and then the enemy team rotating in behind us and just taking us down while we were busy dealing with the targets here in Fox 5, Fox 6. So overall, well played on the enemy team's side. 7 kills to 12, just like last round, only reverse. GG, well played. Let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard to see how we did. But yeah guys, um, this build, fun to play. Nice with the ECM, just make sure you don't overheat too much. One killing blow, four assists, one kill most damage dealt, 700 damage done. Guys, wherever you are on this planet, have a great day, take care, I'll see you soon.